Echoes of Dreams It was in the heart of the city, beneath the neon lights that painted the streets in a vibrant tapestry of colors, that a young street musician named Max found himself. With a battered guitar slung over his shoulder and a heart full of dreams, he wandered through the crowded sidewalks and bustling alleys, seeking his path to greatness. Part 1 the humble beginnings. Max was just another face in the crowd, another nameless musician seeking to make a name for himself. His days began at dawn, the sun's first rays spilling across the city, as he found a quiet corner to set up his makeshift stage. His guitar case lay open, waiting for the generous souls who would toss in a few coins in exchange for the melodies he played. Max strummed his guitar with determination, his fingers dancing over the strings like a magician casting spells. His voice, raw and filled with emotion, told stories of love, loss, and the city's never-ending hustle. People hurried by, their eyes fixed on their own destinations, but Max remained undeterred. He believed that every note he played, every lyric he sang, was a step closer to his dream. Max's music resonated with a few souls who paused to listen, offering smiles, applause, and the occasional dollar bill. Those moments kept his hope alive, even when the cold winds of indifference threatened to extinguish it. Part 2. The Struggles Max's life was far from glamorous. He faced the harsh reality of the streets each day, battling the elements and the unpredictability of life as a street musician. The summer sun blistered his skin, and the winter nights chilled him to the bone. He often went to bed hungry, with dreams of stardom as his only sustenance. Max's family, back in a small town far away, had been skeptical of his decision to chase his musical dreams. They urged him to return, to find a real job, but Max was resolute. He knew that the city held the key to his destiny, and he couldn't turn back now. As time passed, Max realized that his talent alone wouldn't be enough. He needed to connect with the right people, to make his music heard beyond the street corners. The city was teeming with musicians, each with their unique stories and talents. Max started attending open mic nights at local bars and clubs, hoping to catch the attention of someone who could help him take the next step. Part 3, The Mentor One evening, after finishing a set at a local open mic night, Max met Sarah, an established singer, songwriter in the city. Sarah had been in the music industry for years, and her gentle smile hid a wealth of knowledge and experience. She had been in the audience that night, drawn to Max's raw, passionate performance. After the show, she approached him, her voice filled with warmth and encouragement. You've got something special, Max. I can see it in your eyes and hear it in your music. But to make it big, you need more than just talent. You need guidance, connections, and a little luck. Sarah became Max's mentor, teaching him the ropes of the industry. She introduced him to influential people, helped him improve his songwriting, and advised him on building his brand. Max's journey began to take shape, and he started performing at local venues beyond the streets, slowly making a name for himself in the city's music scene. Part 4. The First Break Years passed, and Max's dedication and hard work started paying off. His name began to circulate among music enthusiasts, and he caught the attention of a record label executive named John. 
Impressed by Max's unique sound and his unwavering passion, John offered him a recording contract. The day Max signed the contract was a turning point in his life. The street musician was no longer just a dreamer, he was now on the cusp of becoming a professional musician. He poured his heart and soul into his debut album, and with the guidance of his mentor Sarah and the resources of the record label, he created something truly magical. Max's album, titled Echoes of Dreams, was released to critical acclaim. His unique blend of heartfelt lyrics and soul, stirring melodies resonated with a wide audience. The city that had once been indifferent to his music now embraced him as a local hero. As Max's popularity grew, he embarked on a nationwide tour, performing at sold-out venues from coast to coast. His music touched the hearts of thousands, and his story inspired aspiring musicians everywhere. Max's life was a testament to the power of determination and passion, proving that dreams could be achieved with unwavering belief and hard work. Part 5. The Legacy Max's journey from a struggling street musician to a national sensation was a testament to the indomitable human spirit. He had faced adversity, skepticism, and the daily struggles of life on the streets. But he never gave up on his dream. As Max stood on the biggest stage of his life, looking out at the sea of adoring fans, he couldn't help but think back to those humble beginnings on the city streets. He had come a long way, but the echoes of those early dreams still resonated within him. In the end, Max's story wasn't just about music, it was a story of perseverance, resilience, and the power of never giving up on one's dreams. His journey inspired countless others to chase their own dreams, no matter how impossible they seemed. And so, Max's music continued to echo through the hearts and dreams of those who had heard his story, reminding them that greatness could be achieved, one note at a time. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. The Songbird's Ascent In the heart of a bustling city, where the neon lights pierced the night and the sound of traffic hummed like a symphony, lived a young street musician named Eli. He had known the streets like the back of his hand for as long as he could remember. For as long as anyone could remember, really. The city was a stage, and Eli was its lone actor, pouring his heart into his music on street corners, in subway stations, and sometimes, even in the shadow of towering skyscrapers. His music was his lifeline, and the streets were his audience. The Birth of a Dream Eli's story began on a chilly autumn evening when he was just a child. He stood outside a coffee shop with his mother, watching a guitarist strum his way through a soulful ballad. The music seeped into Eli's bones, and he was spellbound. His mother, who had always known that her son was destined for something great, turned to him with a smile. You see, Eli, that's what passion looks like. One day, you'll find something that moves your soul just like that. From that moment on, music became Eli's obsession. He begged his mother for a guitar, and after much saving and sacrifice, she managed to buy him a modest acoustic. Eli's fingers found their way to the strings, and his heart connected with the instrument as though they had been destined to meet. As Eli grew, his music did too. He practiced day and night, his fingers blistered, 
his hands calloused, and his voice evolving into something pure and powerful. But he didn't keep his music locked away in his room. Instead, he carried it out into the world, taking to the streets to perform for anyone who would listen. His first days of busking were not glamorous. He played his guitar on street corners, his case open for passers-by to toss a coin or two. Sometimes, they did, and sometimes, they simply walked past, indifferent to the sounds of a young boy pouring his soul into his music. Eli's resolve was unwavering, though. He knew that every note, every strum, and every lyric was a step on his path to greatness. Eli quickly learned that the city streets had their own rhythm and their own stories. He played in parks and subways, where commuters rushed by with their heads down, seemingly oblivious to the world around them. He played in the heart of the city, where tourists marveled at the towering skyscrapers and the people who filled the streets. And he played on quiet, forgotten corners, where the homeless found solace in the haunting beauty of his melodies. Through it all, Eli kept playing. He sang of love, heartbreak, hope, and despair. He painted pictures with his words and melodies, inviting listeners into his world. With each passing day, his crowds grew. Strangers became familiar faces, and familiar faces became friends. He was creating a symphony of his own on the city streets. A glimpse of stardom. One fateful evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden glow over the city, a man in a sharp suit approached Eli as he played near a busy intersection. The man's name was Richard Hartman, a talent scout for a record label. He had been walking home after a long day at the office when he heard Eli's music, and something stirred inside him. Richard introduced himself and offered Eli a business card. I represent a record label, he said. I think you have something special, something unique. How would you like to take your music to the next level? Eli couldn't believe his luck. It was as if the universe had conspired to make his dreams come true. He met with Richard, signed a contract, and was soon whisked away from the streets and into a recording studio. He was on the cusp of stardom. Eli's life changed dramatically. He was no longer a street musician, he was now a recording artist. His first single, City of Dreams, hit the airwaves, and it seemed like everyone was singing along. His face graced magazine covers, and he performed on late, night talk shows. The world was at his feet, and he was on the cusp of becoming a household name. But with fame came the trappings of success. The pressures of the industry weighed heavily on Eli. He found himself pushed in directions he didn't want to go, singing songs he didn't believe in, and living a life that felt foreign to him. The city that had once been his stage now felt like a prison, and he longed for the freedom and authenticity of the streets. Eli made a difficult decision. He walked away from the glitz and glamour of the music industry, leaving behind the fame and fortune that had come so quickly. He returned to the city streets, to the very corners where he had once buskied for coins. It was a bittersweet homecoming, and he knew that he was starting over. But Eli had tasted success, and he had learned valuable lessons along the way. He now had the experience, the wisdom, and a deeper connection to his music. He no longer played for coins, he played for the love of it, 
for the people who had supported him from the beginning, and for himself. The Comeback Kid Eli's return to the streets was met with open arms. His old fans were thrilled to see him again, and new ones quickly gathered. He played with a newfound passion, singing songs that resonated with the soul. His music was raw, unfiltered, and true to himself. It was a reminder of why he had started this journey in the first place. Eli's comeback was a story that spread like wildfire. The media dubbed him the Comeback Kid, and his story inspired countless others to follow their dreams, to stay true to their passions, and to never forget where they came from. Eli continued to make music, both on the streets and in small, intimate venues. He released albums that were acclaimed for their authenticity and emotional depth. He collaborated with fellow artists who shared his vision, and he used his platform to support causes he believed in. His music had the power to heal, to unite, and to inspire. He had found his place in the world, and he was content with the legacy he was building. It wasn't about the fame or the fortune, it was about the music, the connection, and the journey. Eli's story was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the power of following one's passion. From the humble beginnings of a street musician to the heights of fame and back to the streets again, he had discovered that success was not measured by external recognition, but by the joy and fulfillment of pursuing one's true calling. His life had been a beautiful melody, filled with highs and lows, but through it all, he had soared like a songbird, embracing the challenges and celebrating the triumphs. His story was an inspiration to all who heard it, a reminder that dreams were worth chasing, and that the journey was as important as the destination. Eli's song continued to echo through the city streets, a reminder that dreams were alive and well, waiting for anyone with the courage to reach for them. And so, the songbird's ascent soared higher and higher, an enduring testament to the power of music, passion, and the unwavering spirit of a young boy who had once played his heart out on a street corner. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Please hit the like button if you like this video, and hit the subscribe button to learn English through watching these kinds of interesting stories daily. Please click on the screen on any video showing on your screen to watch it next. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video till the end.